Hi there. I keep reading the E-Field antennas, such as the Bonnie Whip, the Mega Active MA305, etc. Perform a bit better if they're a bit higher off the ground. Um, I got some very good results from the Bonnie Whip with the radiating element wedged on my rear view mirror just outside the car. Um, but I take the point. Um, so I got back from Crete, uh, and although having said that, I've still got quite a few videos to upload. Um, took my very cheap camera tripod, which cost me about 20 quid from Argos. Um, two pieces of sort of narrow gauge stainless steel tubing, one that sort of slots inside the other, and then I did, took the handle off the very cheap uh, selfie stick I bought in Crete and. I have created a kind of E-field antenna mounting solution that actually puts the radiating element um, onto four and a half meters off the ground. So there you go, so there it is. Now, it's slightly wobbly. I'm not sure if I'd be happy with it in a strong wind, although obviously it doesn't have a very large cross-sectional area, but it's been standing there now for about half an hour and so far hasn't moved so I think what I've got here is a pretty good solution so with the MA305 uh, I've caught some really good stuff in Crete some personal first um, some utility uh, military stuff the, the acid test really will be to take it to the woods uh, in a really quiet environment put a bit of height on it with this solution and then um, see what we can get. Um, when I tried this with the Bonnie Whip, uh, again, about a meter off the ground, um, picking up low signal, uh, sorry, low uh, power signals from South America um, from 60 meters up. So it was a Brilliant, brilliant result. Um, so, but I think this gives the MA305 the best chance um, for delivering some really nice DX, of which I have no doubt, I'm sure it will. Uh, brilliant antenna. The fact that you can power it from a USB sort of power brick, perfect for the expeditions. And assuming this doesn't all fall apart when I take it apart, you know, this is a, a, a kind of mounting solution for the antenna that goes up in about 30 seconds so there you go thought i'd share that with you um some more uh well i wouldn't call it a bodge um some quick engineering um as you know i'm sort of man in a hurry when i decide to do something it's sort of got to happen so uh, there's probably a better way of doing this but with the bits and pieces i had lying around uh and because I don't like spending more than about an hour on this type of stuff. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So, uh, so there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.